I have to tell you about this insane story that came out in Time magazine where Trump is detailing what he would do if he gets a second term. It's a full-blown authoritarian agenda that goes way beyond gutting abortion rights. But today I want to focus specifically on what he's planning to do around reproductive freedom because a new six-week ban went into effect in Florida and impact women across the entire Southeast. One of the scariest parts about this interview was when he said that he would allow states to monitor women's pregnancies and have the states prosecute them if they get an abortion. They asked him several times if he would veto a national abortion ban if he becomes president and he wouldn't answer that question. And it's important for me to tell you that the anti-abortion movement has already started making moves to ban abortions nationwide. So what they're doing is bringing back this law from 1873 called the Comstock Act. And their plan is to prevent the FDA from mailing abortion medication. And there's something you might've heard of called Project 2025. It's basically Trump's own policy blueprint if he gets a second term. And Project 2025 actually promotes weaponizing the Comstock Act as a backdoor to get that national abortion ban so that they don't have to depend on Congress to pass it. So the plan is just to basically ignore the democratic process and use an ancient law to fit their agenda. One thing we need to keep in mind and remind as many people as possible is that Trump is responsible for overturning Roe versus Wade. And he is proud to say that. He keeps saying he's proudly the person responsible for overturning Roe versus Wade. He even thinks that near total abortion bans, punishing women and threatening doctors like what's happening in Florida are working the way they're supposed to. Those are his words. So if you know anybody in Florida, please tell them to vote yes on measure four in their ballots this November so that we can limit political interference with reproductive freedom. Visit yesforflorida.com for more information about this ballot measure.